YouTube, what's going on? Andrew Darling here. Yes, that is a T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S5. And it is booting with Cyanogen Mod 11 on it. Um, it's not an official version yet of CM11, um, but it is rather stable. The only things that really don't work on it are the NFC and I can't remember what the other one was. The uh, overall uh, uh, operating system is pretty smooth since they did finally get the camera working. Um, there are a couple quirks. It does take a little bit longer than, than normal um, to get the camera to, to fully boot. Um, of course, I'm using Nova Launcher, which is a pretty standard uh, thing for me. And I have a couple um, different widgets set up that I'm sure will uh, will load. I just recently took my SIM card out, um, put it back in the OnePlus uh, for another few days um, until I have... I go to the dark side for a little while, um, and I'm sure you guys can figure out what that's going to mean. Um, so... Here, just a quick run through. Um, like I said, I have Nova Launcher, so I have everything going this way. Um, I also have it's a OnePlus uh, add on to the Galaxy S5 Cyanogen Mod um, experience. Um, but going through here, you're going to have the same uh, theme loader that you get um, on the OnePlus, and I guess that's kind of standard on uh, Cyanogen Mod now. Uh, I turn profiles off, but overall, it's, it's a pretty decent experience. Um, so we'll go down here to the About Phone section. You can see it's the uh, Cyanogen Mod Unofficial uh, from September 1st. 4.4.4, uh, um, pretty decent um, overall. Like I said, just some of the little quirks. Um, I mean, everything works with it. Um, but if you go in here to, like if you use the Google camera, um, so it does actually come up pretty decent in here. But it's it's kind of finicky. Um, and what I mean by the OnePlus experience kind of on it is if you look here, like look, the this widget here just acted crazy. There we go, and it's back. Okay, so if you go in here, it actually has the stock uh, OnePlus One camera, which I really enjoy. Only downside to it is if you go here in the settings, you can only make it an 8 megapixel image. You can't make it any larger. Um, Obviously, the Galaxy S5 has a 16 megapixel shooter on it, um, but you can't really um, make it as big as you'd like. Um, you lose 4K video as well. That's the other thing that you lose. But for most folks, that's not even a, a small concern. Um, if you go over to galaxys5root.com, and I'll put the link in the description, um, you can really kind of get an idea of what's going on over there. Uh, and, and it'll walk you through the steps if you have a T-Mobile Galaxy S5. It's actually really, um, for an unofficial, it's it's very stable. So we got a couple emails in there and a couple other things going on here. But uh, like I said, go to work tomorrow and all that fun stuff. But that's just kind of been my quick overview on the on Cyanogen Mod 11. It's still an unofficial on the T-Mobile Galaxy S5. So enjoy that if you're looking for some uh, Cyanogen Mod love on there. And one good thing about it is just the typing experience is phenomenal. I mean, the S5 uh, really does kind of blaze through this stuff, and the experience is pretty solid. So there you go, YouTube. If you like, um, go ahead and like and subscribe below. I really appreciate it. Now we're starting to roll in. I'm starting to get a lot more subscribers, and I appreciate that too. So you have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon.